All right, we're back. These are just Buttermilkies for the two things. The Hideous for the four things. The Frank Sue for the tier one. All right, let's play against Luka Bot. I will play at least one game with white, one game with black. All right. I play to be better than I was yesterday. Now I'm better than 99.9999% of the players on the site. Ready. Okay, Luka is 2,900, so what should I play against Luka? I'm going to play... I'm going to play... What do I want to play? i move one. I think I'll play e4. Let's play e4. Pawn to king four, as, as Robert James Fisher would say, it's best by test. Okay, let's play. Let's play a Sicilian. Luca's gonna play the Nidorf. Yeah, let's let's go right into the Nidorf. Magus surpassed me. Oh no, maybe he did. I don't know. Wh who did Magus play against? Did he play more against Minlay, or do you find somebody else to play against? If Magus actually passed me, I'd be very impressed. Because it's been like 10 minutes. Okay, um, let's play IC3 here. Da -da -da. Thank you with Tassic for the 34 as well. Okay, it's a Night Orf. What do I want to play against him? Um, Let's see. I can play Bishop to G5, maybe. Let's play Bishop G5. Is right arm Theodoro? Right arm is a shared account. I don't know which players it's between, but sometimes it is Nicholas Theodoro. Yes. Um, Knight BD7 played here. I'm going to play f4 anyway with the idea of playing queen to f3. Queen b6 played. Now I can go queen d2. I can play knight b3. Again, this is very heavy theory. The question is how deep do I want to go in this line? Um, I, I actually thought that Lukabot probably did not have an opening book, apparent, but apparently it does. So. Because it has an opening book, I'm going to play Rook B1 here. So, let's see. Lukabot plays E5. Very solid move here. I, I really did not think it had an opening book, but clearly it does. So, I'm probably just going to get destroyed now in this game. Um, I could go Knight F5 here. I could also take and play Knight F5. Yeah, why did, why did I play this opening against the computer? That's just completely insane by me. I'm probably going to get absolutely hammered in this game. Let's just take and go Queen D2. This is absolutely horrible for me. Horrible. Takes. I guess I take. Yeah, I guess I try to develop with bishop d3. e6 logical. Really perplexed by my decision. I can't castle because the queen's covering. I guess I'll go here and try to go queen f2. If he plays d5, I'm in a world of hurt. And of course, it does play d5. Take. I do have bishop b5, maybe, though. Maybe I have this and takes and takes. Take, and I take. Castle. The problem is my king is just completely stuck in the middle of the board here. I'm actually just lost. Because if I could castle, I'd be slightly worse. But the rook on a1 also means I can't castle this way. Um, so let's just go here. This was a terrible opening. I just never should have played this opening. Let's go queen b3. Oh, and now he's queen b5 also. What a disaster. Okay, let's go here. Am I just getting mated somehow? Yeah, this was a disaster. Yeah. Disastrous first game. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just, let's just, uh... Let's start over. Let's play with black in this first game. Um, let's play with black. I should not have played a, a main line there at all. I didn't think it had an opening book. Okay, let's play g6. Let's keep it simple. And let's see. Maybe play a little bit slower. No, I just, I, it's just the opening. I did not expect it to actually have an opening book. Uh, let's play b6 here. Are people just watching who directly? Yeah, people are watching. Wrecked by a basketball pro, exactly. Um, okay, let's do a double fianchetto. I want to get some idea of like what the what the true level is because depending how it plays this opening, all the better idea. Can't reveal opening prep. Yeah, I mean that was not the rook b one. I did not expect it to be super well prepped. Go here. Who even is Luka Doncic? Wait. Am I about to get tactically crushed again?
It's a trap. It feels like a trap. Okay, fine. I'll I'll believe Luca, and I won't I won't grab the pawn. I don't know if I can. I'm not sure. Okay, let's just finish our development here. I can play H just, but I think I should just castle. It makes more sense. Plays queen d2. Hmm. I could play rook b8. I can also go c5 somewhere in here. Knight f6 is a move I want to play, but there's bishop g5, and it's kind of ugly. Kind of ugly. Maybe I should have played h6 first. I guess I'll just go rook e8 instead. Just guard everything. Where's the clock? There is no clock in this game. So I'm playing a bot. Hmm. I think I'm going to go queen a7, try to put pressure on the center. What am I eating? I'm eating a, um, I'm eating a classic cross ant. A cross ant with some lettuce and, um, and some turkey. Maybe I just go back and play rook c8 here. Yeah. Just a classic cross ant. I can play c5 here. Um, I'm going to go knight f6. I don't even know what's best, but I'll play it anyway. C5 always a move. Knight C6 maybe a move now too. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more play, but I'm just going to retreat. I want to see what Luca's idea is here. This queen, queen F4. I assume Knight C6 is a good move here. Goes E5, which is annoyingly strong. I'll play D5. I'm getting squeezed here. I don't have a lot of space in this position, which is kind of a fairly serious problem. I think I'm going to go queen e7, maybe queen b4 somewhere. If I could put this pawn on c5, I'd be fine. Let's go knight b4. What is the point of rook c1? I guess he wants to go knight a4. That's an annoyingly strong move as well. I'm actually getting squashed here. Uh, this is pretty ugly. I guess I try this. I'm probably going to lose the game somewhere very soon. Hmm. That's not the move I expected. Of course it's a very... Or is it a very good move? Or is it? If I play rook c8, queen e3, c5, d5, rook c5, rook b4... Is this a good move or not? I'm actually not sure. I gotta go for this though. If it's no good, so be it. But I have to do this. Oh, I can't play c5 again because now. Or no, I can't. Wait, I can. c5 takes, 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 takes. It's probably worse, but if I don't go c5 here. I'm gonna lose the game. So I just gotta go for it. Oh, wait, rook c3. That's not what I expected. Luca may be playing this a little bit imprecisely. He's still better here, but it's not, it's not clean the way that you would expect it to be. If I trade, if I trade knight d4 is very bad for me. If I go knight c6, I hang the pawn on a6. I could play rook c7 there and maybe it's okay. Maybe being the keyword, but I think I'm in trouble anyway. No, I think I've got to go c4 and... Pretty ugly, but I think I have some chances. Maybe I can go knight d3 here. What else? This knight on d7 is so bad. Takes a knight c6 is obviously somewhat decent. It's not really the dream. But I think I've got to just do this and play knight c6. And... Oh, of course, knight c6 or bishop takes a6, which I didn't see at all. Yeah, now, now I'm probably just going to lose. Unless I can find some magic. Maybe like rook d8 or something. <sighs> I 
New Rook C7. If it plays Queen D2, I'm gonna scream. Go here. Yeah, it's just completely busted. Yeah, that's a terrible position. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Let's try two more. That was no good. Play G3. Yeah, that was terrible. Opponent is cheating, yes. Thank you so much, Bath and Danny. Thank you, Rahul and X Near. Thank you so much, Parsi. Uh, I'm going to play B3, Bishop B2. Bot is too strong. Well, I, I, I don't really have a good read on its style. That's the other problem. Like, Mittens, I could kind of tell right away what the style was, but I can't tell what the Luka style is. Now, it takes, which is also quite interesting. I actually have a very good position. This is a game that I need to win. This is a game that I need to win because I have a pretty decent position. I've got two bishops, no real weaknesses. I'm gonna castle. As long as I don't blunder, I think I, I think I'm okay. The strategy is block and dunk, yes. I'm gonna play a4 here to fix the weakness. Just drop back. And play queen. If you lose once more, I will shave my cat. Okay. Thank you for that. That was very deep. I needed to hear that. Um, I'll play h3. Don't even know if h3 is a good move. Actually, no, I'm going to go h4. Why don't I just play h4 right away? I think my rook belongs on d1 here. Let's go here, target the knight. I've got two great ops here. The ops are excellently placed. Rook fe1 looks correct. Just put the rooks on two central squares as well. I have a good position. This is definitely a good position for me. I'm going to go king g2 just to consolidate this uh, nice b5. I'm surprised, but I did not expect that. It goes b4, which is also great news for me. I mean, at some point I should be able to trade, but I don't want to trade just yet. Maybe I go rook d1 again. Just keep going. <laughs> if you lose once more, I'll shave my whole body, cover myself in Vaseline, and pretend I'm a snail. That's a little bit extreme, dude. That is a little bit extreme. Okay, that, that's just a little bit too extreme. Um, I think I'm going to take and play e4 here. Go e4. Hmm. I do have f4 here. But it doesn't look right. I think I'm going to go Rook F1 and then Rook Fe1, maybe. I'm trying to induce him to do something. Oh, but Knight D7 is actually a very good move. Hmm. I guess I'll play Knight F3. Wait, if, oh, I can't take. What was that? I thought I could actually take, but that doesn't work. Okay. Is c4 a threat? I don't know if c4 is actually a threat. But I still think I'm going to play bishop c1. And rook d1 maybe. Okay, now the question is how do I actually improve my position? I don't, I don't know how I improve it. I can always go f3 somewhere. So Luca wants to draw. I mean f3 is so not a move that I want to play here. But if I want to try to win at some point I do need to play f3. I guess let's go here. <sighs> I don't have a good move. I can play C4, maybe. I mean, it's just a bot. If I lose, what's the big deal? Probably I should play C4. I don't want to, but I think I will. Yeah, it's just a bot. If I lose, it's still good content. Let's go C4. Thank you, Fernal. Thank you to Lip. I mean, now the pawn is weak on... A5. He's trying to go knight c6 and knight d4. I guess I'll go here knight a3 maybe. My knight's getting to b5. I'm getting a little bit of a bastion. That's a mistake for sure. He's got a very weird... What do you call the structure, chat? You guys would know better than me. I'm definitely better here, but...
Hetris? Hmm. I mean, I should be better here, objectively, based on my understanding of this game of chess. If I go F3, is G5 really a threat or not? It's also a big question mark. I want to play Rook C6. I think I should just do it. I don't know if it's actually a good move, but... Um... C7, trade, queen, six, knight, b5 doesn't do it. Oh, did I just allow some stupid rook takes f2 as well? I think I just... Oh, I think I just allowed rook f3. Yeah, I just allowed rook f3 and I just threw this game. <laughs> yeah, I should have played f3. Why did I do this? So stupid. Oh, well, maybe it's not so clear. I do have rook c8 somewhere. Maybe I just maybe I can find a way to just sit here. If I go rook fc1, what's this move? Queen f7, I guess. Hmm. Very unfortunate. Queen c7 and back, I guess. Play king h2. No, if I take, I'm just losing actually because he takes and the pawn just runs right down the board. I think, or does it? D4 check, D3. D3, rook C4, queen E2 is just GG's, yeah. I'm actually kind of just stuck here. I don't have any good, maybe I have knight A7? Actually, what about knight to A7, maybe? Let's go for it. Yeah, now I go back. Hmm. Not good. Do I have knight c7 maybe? I think I gotta go for it and pray. This takes, I just take. It goes back to b4, which feels a little bit wrong somehow. I feel like I should be okay here, but it's not obvious why. Knight c7 and knight, knight c7 is the move. Maybe I just, just wait with rookie two. Oh, if I go rookie two, there's no rook g3 because I just take. I think this is okay though. See what he does. Plays king h8. I think I just have to wait with rook c2. Oh, now I've blown a rook e3. What the heck? If I had to wait with king h2 and then it was fine. Yeah, now I just lose the game. Ah, oh, that's just so stupid. And the, this, this mode, there's no take back. If I got king h2, it's still bad, but I probably could have saved it. Now it's just lost. Go here. No, but now there's rook c8 too. What am I doing? Mm, very poor. Take and take. B3. No tricks here, like knight g5 or something? Probably not. Yeah, now there's a c2 also.
Uh, I should have just made the draw. Poor human snail, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just bad. I, if I go F3, I would have not lost that game. That was very bad. Yeah, basically right around here. I, I think, yeah, basically right around here was still okay. I think I was actually better here. Let me click on the game review. Yeah, I, I think I was actually better. Let me see. If we go back here. Yeah, if here, here if I play queen g4, rook c6 was bad. If I play f3, I mean, I'm not really better. But if I go f3 here, then I can at least wait forever. I don't know if I can win this, but I, I'm not in trouble at any rate. But it is what it is. I'll play one more. Let's let's do one more. I'll do one more with black. Or, yeah, one more with black. Okay, I'm going to play the same kind of setup here. One more. Let's go here. Play b6, bishop b7. Um, probably d6, e6 is what I'll play. Let's play the same kind of setup. Let's go here. Maybe knight d7 next move. Just playing a6. I'll play h6 later. And then knight e7. Actually, no, let's go e5 here. I think it's much that Diego Sam Britton for the prime thing of bombs bomb thing itchy and scratchy for the 19. Now f5 is a move here, but I don't think it's a good great move. So let's just slow, let's manually castle the king as though it's like the 1700s. I'm just gonna manually castle my king here. It's like the 1700s. No, no, no. B4 weird move. Maybe not that weird, I guess. Okay, let's go a5. Of course, a3, because computers never make the old school blunders. Ah, this is unpleasant again, like every every game against a computer. So let's play rookie eight. I was trying to go c5 or something, something annoying. I can play queen c8, maybe with bishop a6. Very, very ugly position here. This is just terrible. If I go bishop a6 takes, I mean, I can try to pretend that I can save this, but not very realistic. Rook a7 is the other move, or rook b8, or I guess just queen c8 and pray. Yeah, of course it doesn't blunder. Uh, I guess I have to take now. Go here, knight f6 or something. It goes rook a1, which is interesting, because this does give me bishop f8 to hold the glue, temporarily at least. Hmm. Yeah, those of you guys who are talking about bullet, I don't care. I mean, Daniel was like 3,400 when I was like 3,280 or something. I didn't care then, so why would I care now? The only thing that I do care about is, um, is actually like the all-time records. Those do matter. Those, those do kind of matter to me. But if you think that somebody would say, Magnus is 3,300 is going to make me play bullet, that's not happening. Okay, um, let's go here. Of course, now there's C5. Uh, it doesn't do it, though. I have another chance to trade, maybe. I think I should trade. I mean, at some point, I'm going to have to do something in the center here. I don't know what it's going to be, but I have to do something. Let's go here. Still can't trade. Still can't go C6. I'll go here. I'm definitely going to play c6 here if I can. Goes bishop a4. I do have c6 as a move. c6 takes, takes. I'm going to go h5 though instead. 
This might be a bad move because of knight f3, knight g5, but I don't care. Try to chip the center away here a little bit. Queen b3. Okay, so he's got knight g5 or something stupid again. I think I have to guard the pawn, so there's no c5 silliness. Okay, queen d3 does not look like the right move. Actually, wait. I have queen a8 or something? Hmm. Don't really want to trade on a4. feel like I have some sort of opportunity to save the game here if I'm, if I'm precise. Queen b7 is also a move, maybe. Queen b7 looks like one of the options, but maybe not the only one. Hmm. So I'm a queen d6, and then what am I doing? I'm don't I'm playing work to a8. B5. Bishop takes e4. Not very good either. It's just a bad position. I guess I'll go knight e8 to guard the pawn. There's no good. This is literally no good. Am I about to get squished by some C5 somewhere in here? No. Although he's going to take... It's going to be the painful loss instead. He's going to put the knight on e3. My knights are just not very good. I want to go bishop e6, but then he has knight g5. And of course he has knight g5 now, and I'm just getting absolutely crushed. If I take and go knight g7, knight e6, maybe I have a prayer... Oh, I'm probably getting lollied on the king side too in the pro in the process. Or maybe I have knight g7 here. Wait, knight g7, c5, takes cb6. No good either. Ugh, this is so bad. I think I have to go rook a7 and pray again. I'm going to go here like some knight c7 and just really, really pray that I'm somehow surviving. Of course, it finds that 4, which just basically blows, up, blows the door, door off the position. Go here, force a trade. Trying desperately to hang, hang on. Oh, he's just, he just... If I take, he just takes a7 first and... I'm trying to put this knight on c5 and get a prayer. Okay, I hit the bishop. Bishop c2. Of course, it plays knight d5. <sighs> does, does not even care. Let's go here. Now, I can obviously take... I think there's some kind of weird fortress here, maybe. Okay, I take... The e pawn. I mean, I can check and go queen d4. Maybe I have some chances here. Maybe. Some chances to save this. Probably not to win, but to save it, maybe. Queen a1 looks correct, though, with queen d4. Or queen f1. I don't know which one's right. I think queen d4 is right, but I don't know. Queen d4 or queen f1? f1 has sense too but f1 only goes after one square d4 you go after this you control a lot more squares so i think i'm gonna try to create the classic sunray with queen d4 a la xqc i mean it's it's just a draw it's gonna be a draw but okay check and check okay draw is not the end of the world can i actually take this pawn i wonder and try for more I could, but if I take the pawn, he goes check. Here and then bishop d1. And I, there's nothing else I can do. It's still a draw. So I think I just take the draw. Yeah. 
Ah, it's a draw. I mean, I was completely busted, so I can't complain, but still, that's what it is. So, yeah. I think there was a get good dad for the 21, Clyde for the 33, CFW for the 11, Michael Lestraglio. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. So, all right, it's a draw. Okay, let's go back to chess.com. Magnus is apparently playing, right? So, let's uh, let's refresh the page. Magnus is playing against right arm of the forbidden one. Of course, is Nico Theodoru. What's going on? Magnus is bishop takes a six. Whoa, what's what is this position even? Rook on e four, very poorly placed. So there's knight c five and rook d eight, I guess. And yeah, knight c5 and rook d8. You got you got to do something fast. Rook d8. Feels like black should be a little bit better here. Goes rook a5 to take the juicer. Queen e2, I assume. Rook d6, queen e5. There are no fossils here. Rook b6 to guard the bishop. Weird position here. Very very weird position. I mean, there's also. But bishop. There's no bishop d6 he takes. Okay, so he's got three pieces. Bishop d6, of course. Or bishop a7. But bishop d6 has to be right. Why is he thinking? Why is he so slow? Rook c7. Rook... Knight c5? What the heck is this? Bishop c7. Yeah, that's just insane. I don't even understand that at all. Yeah, that's just weird. Yeah, I don't even understand that game. Weird game. Give this sub to Ali Reza. Who gifted this sub? Thank you to Alex, Alex Ma for the gifted sub to Ali Reza Ferruja. <laughs> nice, thank you. Yeah. Um, Magnus, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, even materials here. Magnus is better than you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I literally don't care. Thank you. Um, Rook C8, black is better here. Rook C2, Rook E2. Yeah. And Bola, I do not care at all. I mean, Dan, Dan was like 3450 when I was like 3280. Seriously, no joke. And I did not go out of my way to try to play Bola. Rook B1, Rook C2, and this is just winning. Um, I did not go out of my way to uh, to try and play Bullet when Daniel was like 150 points higher. So if you think that I'm going to actually care about Magnus being 150 points higher, yeah. Yeah. Like. Okay, now this position, Magnus is up on clock. So very, very pleasant position here. He'll probably win this game if I had to guess. B5 and B4 with Rook B7. Great technique from Magnus. B3, even better because you have B2. Yeah. Um, why do you read all those comments that are annoying you don't care? Because uh, it's easier to see those comments than other ones. That's the reason. Um, so, yeah. You make it seem like you care about it. Well, that's like that's like any comment you respond to. If you respond to any comment, people are going to say it. It's whatever I see is the comment that I'm going to respond to. I mean, if you, if you think that I'm smart enough to actually literally watch a whole chat and just be like, ah, I'm going to read that one, that one, that one, that one. Like you're you're uh, you're thinking too much, you guys. Way too much. If that's what you actually think, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think that I'm literally looking at it, it's like ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to that comment. I mean, seriously. Okay, Bishop G5, strong. Er, there was just H6. I thought should have just played H6 G5 before castling. But anyway, Ikar will not see this comment right. Thank you so much, Spies Hideout. What's going on? Um. Yeah, of course he must play this. Bishop takes e5. White has a great wooden shield here as well. Great, great bishop here on e5. Okay. You have a6. You can also play b4. Probably you stack the two towers. Yeah, stack. Okay, king f7. Probably knight g6 ideas. Maybe g5. I don't know if I like knight g6. Yeah, and he just moves instantly. Very, very poor technique. Thank you so much to CCM for the 23 months. Thank you so much to CCM. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Alex Mob for the gift of sub to Ovoe. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you to Rienzo for the two months. I mean, Daniel completely, completely, uh, um, completely smashed him. Uh, 
Okay, b4, queen takes b4, rook b1. Um, I guess knight g2. Okay, knight f3. Wait, what's going... Wait, Magnus is black in this game, right? So he is the one doing much better here. Yeah. Neither was just share of CS for the two months. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, share of CS. What the heck is this? Takes. F6. Knight F6 feels a little bit... Uh, there's knight d5 here. He's not seriously going to blunder it, is he? But now a2 hangs also. Knight e5, bishop f5, black just wins the game again. Yeah. Yeah. No good. No good. No good. Why do you watch us go play some blitz? Uh, I could play some blitz, but there aren't, there aren't a lot of people online. Bullet is more likely than blitz. Bishop c5, king f7, knight e4, e5, and black will win anyway. You, you win a pawn on c6, but it doesn't really matter because black has a much better structure, and you are down a pawn, and you're losing h6, and your bishop and your knight are completely discombobulated. There's also knight a4 here, hitting the bishop and rook a1 mate. Or knight e4, also good. Bullet time? I mean, again, I don't really like playing bullet on stream. I can play a little bit, I guess. You guys want me to? I can play some bullet. Let me see Let me see who's online. Because um, if Magus and right arm are playing... Ollie Reza, actually, I'll, let me challenge Ollie Reza to some blitz. Uh, let's play blitz. Okay, let's play knight three. Okay, real chess. Let's play blitz. Would be three. I'm just gonna take and play bishop b2. Go c4 here. Streamer versus designer, exactly. The classic matchup that everybody wants to see. Uh, now I'm gonna go queen c2 here. I mean, I have knight a4 somewhere. I also just have e4, which I don't think is a good move, actually. I think I'm gonna go long. I'm gonna go long here. goes a5. I mean, I assume king b1 is fine. a4, I just take the pawn. I'm not worried about it yet. Knight c8 hangs a pawn in the center. I mean, this is interesting. This is actually a very interesting position, which is probably a bad thing. Since it's so interesting, I'm probably going to get too interested in it and blunder somewhere. It's very, I would love to analyze this in, with more time. So it's an interesting position. He's got the double pawns here. Um... I'm going to play Rook DE1. I don't know if it's best. Goes F5. For some reason, I thought F5 wasn't actually a move here. But apparently it is. I guess I take and play Knight B5. Oh, I also have Knight F3. Wait, I also have Knight F3. Wait, this is interesting. This is where I should think and not blitz out a move. Because this is not trivial for either side. Okay, so I play knight f3. I have knight b5. Knight b5 looks wrong. I think knight f3, e4. e4 just takes. d4, knight b5 looks fine. It's not ideal, but it's... Eh, definitely not ideal, actually. Knight b5, knight 6 takes, takes queen e2. Could also play knight takes e5 here, maybe. Um, okay, I'm thinking this is blitz. This is not this. This isn't like classical chess. I can't. I can't really be thinking for ten years here. What am I doing? Yeah, I. I, can't, I just can't think for ten years. So I just have to move. <laughs> Guess I'll just do this. Yeah, I don't know what even a4 is just a ridiculously bad move. Yeah, I'm just thinking way too long here. There's just not much, there's no reason for this to tank. Yeah, I just threw this game for no reason. Wait, I spent all this time trying to figure it out. I guess I'll go here. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like suddenly treating this like a game of classical chess for no reason. <laughs> 
This isn't classical chess. You got to move. And I'm down 30 seconds and I have a bad position. Very unlikely that I'll survive this. If I get really lucky, maybe I will. Got like bishop e7 or something too. I don't know if I like h6 though, because now he has problems with the central pawn. I mean, he has d3, but then I... Okay, wait. I think I just go here. I mean, I'm not actually that concerned, because I'm getting some center play here. And time has evened out here as well. Of course, he has rook g6, which I didn't see. Ugh. Still some small chances, though. What is Ali Reza doing? Wait, what the heck is he actually doing here? Just mate in Uno. There we go. Very lucky win. Things are cheap. Thank you to Lassie. That was a bad choke. Thank you to LaBernada and Joe Ignored. That's that that was a bit of a choke by Ali Reza. He should have won that game. That was not good. Hikaru effect, exactly. That was very poor. Um, okay, Queen B6 and Knight C6, of course. Yeah, very, very poor from Ali Reza. C5, right. So this is still kind of theory. Rook B8. Now I just develop and play like... At some point I have knight A5 too as a move. Castle. It was bishop B5. Um, I think knight A5 and B6 is always in line. Knight H5 also a move here, I believe. To hit the bishop, if I'm not mistaken. He lost because he's changing his outfit. Okay, you guys, no need to be, like, rude about it. I mean, come on. Stop, stop being ridiculous. Okay, so if I take and play G4... I can also go F6 here, which I think is fine. Yeah, I think F6 is completely fine. I just take care of any weird stuff happening in the center with, like, a 95 jump. All the rest is still a million times better than us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, chat's weird. Like, as soon as I got a losing position, you guys are, like, losing to a fashion designer. Then Ali Reza starts playing her, like, part-time GM fashion, full-time fashion designer. Like, everybody's really in, like, full troll mode. Kind of weird, actually. <laughs> um, I'll go... Um, I think... I don't... A6 is a move. I think Queen E8 must be right, though. Because I assume he's got to play in the center of the board. And so I'm going to play A6 and force him to trade. Yeah, it's like chat's acting really weird. Thank you so much a young log for the prime. Thank you so much a young log. Appreciate it. I was really lucky last game, though, because that was a terrible game. I mean, wait, what? 95? Oh, wait, no, it's guarded. He just takes. What am I thinking? Ridiculous. Ridiculous, as they say um, in the good old book. Let's play g4, kick the knight out of town. I can play f5. I can also just play b6, which I think also makes a lot of sense here. I don't know which way I take. I can take c or a. I don't actually know which one's right. 
I think C takes is correct, just instinctually. Plays queen d1. Now, I could take, but I think f5 is just a good move to create a nice little chain of pawns. The funny thing is, since I played this order, maybe now I take and I try to go for c5. Very, very hard to judge. I don't actually know which capture is correct here. Rook takes is also possible, too. Ooh. I have no idea. I'm going to, I think I'm going to take with a rook. I don't know. I want to actually look at this after the game. So I'm kind of curious whether this was correct. I, I actually want to see which captures was correct. I mean, maybe it's just going to say white was better no matter which way I captured, but I'm, I'm actually curious. Things are set. It's Irina Chan. Things are Sloney for the two month, uh, two month resub as well. Okay, so I trade. I go here, of course. Trade. Decent position. He's a little bit weak on the queen side. So if I can, if I can get like queen six and rook b eight, I'm I'm gonna win the game. But he has knight a four, which he accurately spots. Um, uh, I guess I'll go rook b five. Okay, so I take. I mean, I'm looking to line up a legendary triple somewhere. Maybe queen g six is actually better here. So that I have f four tricks later on, and I can also go rook c eight still in line with the the double stack. If I go queen c6, he has f3 and fg4. Let's go here. Go here. Bad move, by the way. I gave him queen b3. Very bad move by me. Um, let's go here. Here. Oh, a5 is a horrible move, too. What the heck? <sighs> horrible move. Oh, that's just ridiculous by me. Oh, I slipped. Oh, I meant to go. Uh, I mean, I just slipped. I meant to go FG3. Probably was losing anyway, but uh, whatever. Rook takes B3. Rook takes B. Oh, I had Rook takes B2 in between. Yes, I missed Rook takes B2. You're right. Rook takes B2 is winning. Uh, I should have won that one. But I should have lost the first one. So it all evens out in a way. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, let's go here. Bishop H4. Uh, why did I, how did I miss Rook takes B2? That's really bad. That's horrible. Rook takes b2 and I just win that game 99% of the time. No bueno. No estan bueno. Okay, let's go a4. Actually, I should have played a3. What does a4 do? Uh, does nothing, in fact. <laughs> yeah, why did I play a4? Such a bad move. I'm just going to retreat and play bishop g3. Is this a competition? No, this is, we're just playing casual blitz for fun. Um, doesn't mean that I don't still want to play well, but yeah, this is very chill. How did I miss rook takes b2? That is just so bad. So, so bad by me. Chess is no fun. Chess can be fun. Chess can also not be fun. It can be a bit of everything. Uh, this does give me rook d7 here. I mean, his knight is very mildly offside. So if I could somehow... I want to bring the knight around. How do I bring my knight around? I think I might go knight, knight, knight e1 and knight d3 and maybe knight c2. I think I want to go f3 also, though. Um, f3 makes sense here because now I can bring my knight, bring my bishop back. Probably this is just going to be a draw. Fairly balanced after the, la after the last two games, which were very choppy. Should have lost the first one. Should have won the second one. Order flipped, but it's what it is. Okay, let's go. D3 or C2, also a big question mark. My assumption is C2 is right, because I always have Bishop E1 to hit the pawn. And then if I get B4, I, sh I mean, again, probably just very drawish, but some small chances. 
Oh, I also have knight a3, knight c4, I just realized. Maybe some chances. Actually, maybe some chances. Yeah, maybe there's some chance here with knight c4, actually. Maybe. Probably not really, but maybe. Maybe. Okay, goes for it. So I go here. Okay, so wait. So I can play rook d3. The knight c2 is no good. Again, I probably should have used more time. I don't know why I just blitz this out without even thinking. Let's just go for this. Okay, it's got to take. I take. d6, knight c4 takes. Okay, 3 rook d1. And he's got knight d2 or some nonsense. And it's just a draw. Well, maybe it's a draw. Maybe not. I have rook a3. Maybe not. I have king here, trade, and rook b3. Obviously, this, is, this should be a draw, so but it's not trivial. I can also run the king, maybe. Knight f1, king f1. Actually, maybe this is not trivial at all for black. Check. King there. No, it's not trivial at all, actually. I don't see it. He he can he can prove to me where the draw is because I don't I actually don't see it. After here, here I run out. And he's getting so low on time here that it's hard for me to see where it can where exactly it exists. F five, I just he just resigns. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I played e four. I was going to play d four again. Oh, whatever. Go here. Thank you so much to Twitch Jameson. Thank you so much to Reese Frond. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, you guys. See what he does here. I mean, I'm surprised. Ali Reza is apparently out of his theory, even though this is stuff that's been played for a long time. The plebs are grumbling outside the city gates, yeah. It was bishop e2? Oh, wait, no, this is just the main lot. Actually, is this? Maybe this is, or maybe this isn't. I'm a little confused. No, this is actually just the main line. Never mind, this is just the main line. Was Ali Reza faster before he became a fashion designer? I mean, I don't, I don't know um, what's going on with Ali Reza, but like I said, I feel like in general his play is still very good. But at least online, he doesn't, it doesn't feel as crisp as it once did. That's just, again, that's just my personal take. I mean, you don't have to believe it, but that's just my personal take. Somehow it doesn't feel as crisp as it once was. There should be three. I think is, it's not a mistake, but it's not the best move. I think I go here. I think I go uh, here in king e6. And I think I'm actually relatively okay. Because I can just take and go king e6 and bishop h6. He can obviously try it. But after takes, takes, just even bishop e7. I think I'm just completely fine. Danny beat him 83-52 in a 30-second match. Well, 30-second, you know my... You, everybody knows my opinions about 30-second chess. So... That's not really saying much. Okay, he does play it. Interesting. So, I guess I just take. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows my opinion about 30-second chess, so that's not really, that's not saying a whole lot. Let's leave it at that. 
Um, let me think about it. So I can play bishop h6 here. I can go bishop e7 also. If I play rook g8, I mean, if he takes, I just take. I This doesn't look good for white, actually. This looks very bad for white, in fact. If I get rook g4, I just win the game. Because he loses pawns, and I can even double stack. And he has to take. I check. I'm going to go rook f6. Okay, plays a4. So he's trying to go b4. I don't know. This doesn't look right. Play a5. Well, now I just check. And I'm going to go c. Yeah, but this, I mean, this should really never be working in any world, basically. Yeah, but there's just a4. I mean... I go king. I mean, this just doesn't look right objectively. Go here. Go check. I mean, it's just lost. Rook b2 and a2. Okay, starting to slowly wake up. Three to one, not the worst thing ever. Just gonna play a3 here, something slow and happy. Things are shut, but Jesus with the prime and e-bound with the prime. I'm gonna play h3, I don't have to, but it's still a move. Um, I guess I'll just, uh, I can play knight g5 maybe. I think I'll do it. Because d5, I'm just going to take and go queen h5, and I think that's winning for me. I hope to die. Uh, of course, I just castle. He plays h6, I drop back. And he's going to go like bishop e6 or something. I can obviously trade if I want to. I also don't have to trade. Like knight e2, knight g3. Or knight h4. Maybe just knight e2 first. I'll go knight h4 and then knight g3 next move. Oh, did I hang e4? No, I've got bishop f7, I guess. I also have queen h5 as well. Title Tuesday is on a Wednesday. No, thank you, Kid Bra, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. So he goes d5, logical move. Um, queen f3 is a reasonable move here. Queen e2 is probably fine too. Knight f5 is also probably completely fine. I mean, everything here is very dry though, like very super dry. So I'm gonna play knight f5. Basically, see where he puts the knight. He can always trade pawns as well, and we just play chess. Uh, queen f3 now is a move here. And I think it's a pretty good one at that. Knight g6. So I have c3 here, I guess, which is completely fine. Maybe b4 ideas. Maybe I just play for d4. Hard to judge. Yeah, bishop f8. I expected that. That's a pretty obvious looking move. Um, assume rookie one must be correct just to put pressure on the um, center of the board. Knight h7. Very logical. Um... I could try to play d4 maybe here already. I also have knight h5 maybe. I'm going to go knight h5. I don't know if it's a good move, but it's a move. Do I think 30 second chess on Lee Chess is equivalent to one minute chess on chess.com? Um, I don't know. It's, I feel like I've, I've been asked something similar before. I'll just go here, just keep developing. Don't even know if bishop e3 is the best move, but it seems like a move to be played. If knight g5, I think I can go queen g4. Very, very hard to judge what's, what's going on here. Yeah, people are saying because of server speed, exactly. f6, however, does give me h4. Because now after takes, takes... Okay, it goes bishop f7. This doesn't look right, though, to me. I could be wrong. This looks suspicious. Somehow this looks very suspicious to me after queen g3. I don't know, this looks very, very suspicious. Like, can I even just take and go h5 or something? I can even play d4 here. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Don't blunder this. 
So after he takes H5, knight G5, I think D4 is actually a good move here. Can't take. I mean, there's knight G7. There's also takes. I mean, I feel like, I'll... oh, wait, now E4 is hanging. Wait, why did I do that? Wait. Wait, but I can also take and. Wait a second. Takes. Because now the knight hangs at the end of this line. Actually, wait, the knight's hanging on G6. And D's knights are super powerful on F5 and H5. Thank you so much to uh, Miguel for the Prime. Thank you so much to Miguel. Appreciate it. Thank you for the Prime. Trade, I take, and now, I mean, this is just crushing. D's knights, just too powerful. D's knights for the win. Mag is going for 3,400. I don't know, you guys. I'm not paying attention to that. Uh, let's just take. He takes. Now, again, knight g7 probably is good enough. But even just, let me think about this. If I just take, queen takes d5. Thing is, if I if I grab the pawn, uh, this looks right to me. You can obviously take, but I have knight e6. I also have knight h6, and knight e6, knight f7, and d's knights are just crashing through. Takes in here. This should be gg. Thank you so much to error for the two months. Thank you so much to error for the two months. Appreciate it. Right, but now I just... Oh, he's got... Rook... Wait, no. Rook a7, I have knight e6. And I'm still threatening mate and uno. And I'm also covering the queening square of both the queen and the rook. So D's knights are just too powerful here. Yeah, I'm going to win again. Since when is Ali Reza a fashion designer? Well, he gave an interview, um, and he spoke about it at length. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's stay solid with E5 here. No need to get cheeky. Play Eek Me and I'm in Berliner. I probably should have played the Ali Ekans again, just to see what his idea was. Many different lines. Let's play queen d6 again. Not not even the best move, but it's a line. Is it okay to pursue another profession? Um, I think I spoke about this a little bit recently. I mean, my general my general take on the whole thing is quite simple. Um, I'm gonna play bishop g4. There's nothing wrong with it, but if Ali Reza takes too long away from chess, it will um, catch up with him. Go here. Take is bishop d4 a move? Bishop e5, queen e5. Looks like a move, so I'm going to play it. Um, so, yeah, so where, what was I saying? I was saying something else. Yeah, I was saying basically, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal at the moment. Um, but basically, at some point, if Ali, at some point, once Ali Reza has taken too long away from chess, it will catch up with him and he, he will stop improving. So right now, I think like he just needs a break from chess. It's all good. Who cares? Like, it's his life. Let it go. Um, but yeah, basically, at some point, if... If Ali Reza takes too long away from it, he will he will have basically reached his peak, and there will be no more improvement coming. Now I do have f five here as a move. Um, kind of like it actually, so I'm gonna play it. Right now, though, I think it's completely irrelevant. Let me put it that way. I think right now, who cares? He's just having fun. Let him have his fun. Let him let him live his life. Uh, it doesn't really change much. Uh, but I do think, like at some point going forward, that that yes, it, it will catch up with him if he if he keeps. If he basically decides this is what he wants to do with his life. Um, why did I play that? That was such a bad move by me. Um, I guess I'll go here and here. Okay, so he's happy to trade. So now I go knight c6. And I'm slightly worse here probably. But it shouldn't be anything too crazy. I mean, I think if he takes a year away, it still won't make much of a difference considering the level he's at. But I think if he takes much more than one year off, it will start to catch up. I'm going to play h6 and g5 here, I guess. Yeah, I thought he would do that. Now, the question is, I don't even know if I should play g6, but I don't care. I will anyway. It was g4, also an interesting move. Um, don't actually like it, because I think I run my king up. Go here. And the question is, do I play b5 or not? I think I'll just play rook d8 for now. Okay, let's play b6. Just keep this very solid. I don't even know what. Why did I even do that? That doesn't do anything. Um, try to do something on the um, on the queen side if I can.
Yeah, there's not. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? I've I've rook b8 here. And b3 maybe. It's just got rook a1. If I go b3, what's happening? b3, king c1, rook b4, king. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? It's probably very wrong, by the way. But I want to try to win this. I don't know. It's probably stupid, but whatever. Who cares? I guess I'll play like here. Somehow I feel like this should be winning for me. I think this is actually just winning for me. Wait. Wait, this is Zugzvang, I think. Yeah, this is Zugzvang. Or no, it's... Wait, no, it's not. No, this should just be winning for me. Oh, wait. Okay, I gotta go here. Yeah, now I win because I have king c3. Or king b3. There we go! Another win! Another big, big win. We're up 5-1. We've won five in a row. We've basically, we've adopted Ali Reza, which is always a good thing. At the age he's at, it's kind of hard to believe that I could even do that. But it's a McDoption. Let's play d4, knight b5. Thank you so much to Bob Longer. Thank you so much to Marjan Max Marish. Thank you so much to W Yums. Thank you to Howdraft and GK Grabaust. Now, this, I believe, is a mistake because of Bishop f4. He played the wrong order. He needed the knight on f6. Now, Ali Rez is in a world of hurt here. I think he's just lost. Yeah, this is not good from Ali Rez. No, no, I'm talking Blitz. And Bullet, of course. Like, in Bullet, I could, I could, I mean, not that I could, but it's possible to adopt. And in Blitz, it's impossible. Now, the good news here is that this is still the opening, and Ali Rez is burning all his clock. Now, this doesn't look right at all. Um, I guess I'll check. I don't know if this... Whoa, King F6. Holy moly, moly, moly. What the heck? Okay, wait a second. Wait a second, bro. Wait a second. But he does have age six, maybe. No, no, no. This is no. What is he doing? He's getting miniatured here. What is Ali Reza doing? Wait a second. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is a little bit much, dude. A little bit much. No, I mean this is just completely lost. Yeah, this is this is no bueno. Yeah, I just go check. Check and queen off side. I mean, total disaster here. So I also have bishop d3 check, which is mate. I have queen g6 mate. I mean, uh-oh. Uh, okay, he's trying desperately to hang on here. Okay, 97. I mean, somehow he's found a way. He's found a way. I got to give him credit. I go there and g4, for example. Actually, I think I'm just going to go... Wait, I'm thinking too long here. I can also just play g4, maybe. Now let's just go here. It's very crude to play g4, but it's just basically I'm saying I can check and you don't even have a blockader here. But I think it's pretty much game over anyway. I mean, I guess he can... Yeah, he just resigns. I mean, just total disaster. So at least we've clinched the match for sure. We're up 6-1, six, 6 in a row. Yeah, if I can get it up to nine, I'll, I'll, if I get it up to nine to one, I'll play a last game to try to get the adoption. But realistically, um, 
with d5. But realistically, I assume that's not going to happen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The pawn's under attack. What am I doing? Castle. Knight e4 looks like a decent move. And bishop f5 also looks completely reasonable. He's going to try to play a3, b4, of course, and build the big queen side majority here. Yeah, I can play a6. I can also just trade. Actually, maybe I trade and go bishop e4. Just put pressure on this pawn here. Knight e5, logical move. Um, actually, I should not have allowed this. I miscalculated this line. I'll go f6 and take and play e5, maybe. I mean, a bishop on e4 could be very good. It could also be very bad as well. But I'm trying to build a big black center here, and maybe I can do something. I assume I don't know, e5 looks like the move. It's not the move I don't really want to be right. Because what else am I really playing for? It goes b5. Now, I do have queen a5. I also have... I also have f5 and f4 and something. This might not be right, but it's worth a shot. Because I think I'm in a lot of trouble here in this position. Wait, what's going on here? I mean, I'm getting queen f2. I mean, this whole pawn center is just completely collapsing for every side. So now I can take on d4 here. I mean, if... <laughs> I don't know what's going on, so I'm just going to take this one. I mean, something's gone wrong for, I think, Ali Rez. I think I'm better. Just a guess. Because so I think my pawns in the center are worth more than his pawns on the rim. I mean, you can always take and, and give trade and then try to push these pawns down the board. But I assume I have a way to stop them, which is why actually right here I should think instead of blitzing out my next move. Think on his time after takes. Yeah, it's fine. He gets over to TVAP Twitch for the 36 and purple alien. So he takes this way. I take with a queen. Goes rook c4, so he wants to take. Um, I do have queen f2. Wait, maybe I just go check. And I try, I, I'm going to try to double a battery him here with bishop e5, I think. I want to go queen g3 and just mate him on h2. Yeah, I th I'm just going for the, the double a battery checkmate on h2. Although, wait, does this not work? Oh, no. Did I make a mistake? Does this actually, did I just blunder this? Oh, no. I think I just blunder this. I thought I had a forced checkmate. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I did. I messed this up. I miscalculated this whole line. I got too clever. Why did I do that? I play CB5, I just win the game. Oh, I got too clever. Oh, that's so stupid of me. Think for a second. See if there's anything else I can do. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm going to try to go D3 or something. Ah, oh, that was so careless of me. If I just play CB5, I just win the game. So I go here. Um, wait, Queen F2? No, Queen F2 is no good. I'll give him C7 because I'm getting E2 at least, and I can pretend. I mean, I have Bishop G3 also. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta come with a move here. Is there really no good move? This probably doesn't do anything, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I mean, you can just make a queen, too. Like, what does this even do? He's getting low on time. Okay, it takes... There's just nothing. 
I had to go bishop g3, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just lose this. <sighs> so disappointing. If I had played the other line, I would have won. But I've gotten lucky in a few games, so I shouldn't really complain, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? What the fridge was that? <laughs> what the fridge was that? I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, I, I'm, yeah. I don't know what that was from Ali Reza. Just bizarre. <laughs> Highway robbery? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I literally don't know what the, what the heck that was. Hit the queen? Not that that's a good move either, but whatever. Still chess. Sorry, I just have to up the music. Can play bishop b5 here at the knight. I have a bad position, but I don't even care because I'm just bopping away. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bopping here. Of course, I have a bad position naturally, but um, let's go here to hit the pawn. Yeah, I'm I'm just losing this game, I'm losing my mind. Maybe I just sack, fudge it. Who cares? Just sack. Have fun. Life is too short to worry about such things. I should have played the other order. I should have probably taken and then taken, but who cares? I can also just... Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait. Wait a second. So I take and I check, go here. Wait a second. Whoa, um, okay, now I have knight h6, I also have knight d6, probably I just take, actually rook d3 is a very good move by Ali Reza, although I can still take on g7, I guess. What's going on, if I take and play, I don't want to burn too much time, but, I guess I'll go for this one. It's, it's the best approach. I'm still losing no matter what I do, so I might as well go for this. And he's got like rook d. He plays rook e8, which is interesting. Probably I just go c4 here and pretend. Oh, c4 is horrible. I just give him knight d4. Oh, he's got queen d8, too. Rack. I'm worse, but I can at least pretend here, because I have two pawns for the knight. Also, g4, I mean... 
We can take G2, but this... I mean, there are very few pawns on the board in this end game. Hard to believe that this should actually be losing if I'm quick. Hmm. Probably going to lose somehow here. The yeah, kings lose. Yeah, he's totally bungled this. Oh, I blundered this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pre-move this. Okay, I'll live with that. I'll live with it. I can live with that. Thank you so much to Kiki Judo. Thank you, Dumpster Truck. Appreciate it. I can live with that. One more for the road. It was winning. <laughs> I don't care if it was winning or not. Yeah, it's all good. Draw down a pony? Yeah, of course. That's why you never give up. You never give up, you guys. You never give up. Jimiko said you're scared to play bull with him. Yes, you guys, I'm scared to play chess against anybody, including Magnus Carlsen. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for informing me of, um, <laughs> of how I feel. I'm, I'm afraid of playing everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm super afraid. I think there's a Kogar for the tier one. They have Leon, they have Ultimate Robin. Yeah. I think they're conceivably wrong for the 19. Top five in the world and afraid. Jimikos is this uh, Greek player. He's an FM. Very, very good at Puzzle Rush. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I assume Rookie 8's got to be right here. I could have taken right away, I guess. I wonder if I have some Puzzle Rush myself with Bishop F5 and Knight 4 It looks very, very juicy here. It looks so juicy that... If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. So he takes and I take. Bishop h7, king h8. I don't know. It's probably no good, but who cares? Wow. So he actually, he just, he ignores the whole thing. Um, now, which... I mean, I guess it's the same no matter what I take. Okay. I guess... I don't have to take, but I... I mean, if I don't take, what am I doing? d5 is a move here. I'm going to go for it. Knight a6, knight b4. Okay, it's just standard. Hmm, he does have knight g5, I just realized. Might have made a mistake. I might be in a little bit of trouble here. But we'll see. I also had knight a6. I should have played knight a6 to stop rook c5 there. Knight a6 was a much better move. It was e4, which of course is a good move. So I should have played knight a6, because then I could just take. But here there's a stupid rook e1, and I get ice skater, so it doesn't work. If I take, he has rook c5, so I can't take. Only question is, do I go to, like, d8 or where? I'm going to go to d8. I don't know if it's right. I go here to trade. 
all away. Ninety-seven night of eight. Bet on me. Goes e5, which does hang a2 now, actually. Like, a2 is hanging. When in doubt, play like a computer. Knight g5, just rook e7. I'm holding the glue. The glue is all being held together very neatly. After rook d8, I'm just better. Thanks so much to Darth Sidious for the prime. Tommy Table, Blaza Blaza, Amar, and Paralapuka for the prime. 96 is also a move here. Oh, no, that hangs me. It's not a move. Excuse me. Um, yeah, that would not be very good. But I'm up 30 seconds. I've got a great position. Superman's got nothing on me. I'm only one call away. Okay, now I think I can go 96. But I don't want to. I'm just going to play Rook D8. I thought I could take on E5, but you know what? I don't even care. There's no need to be cheeky here. So what's the way to play this, actually? I'm going to go here. Yeah, this maybe isn't so great. Okay, I'm going to play H6, of course. He's going to go like H5. I'm going to go here and C5 next move. Trying to go Rook G3, obviously. Oh, did I just blunder Knight F6? No, Knight F6, I can take, take. It's kind of scary. I don't like my position. I'm just going to take. I'm just going to... What? Oh, whatever. I'll take it. I think it's a Bob BQ thing. It's putty Wimbus thing. It's ecological or the prime. I don't know what that was. Um, <laughs> I, I did. Did he? Did he like forget that my his work was on E eight and not E seven? I mean, maybe he thought his work was on E seven. I, I I don't know. No, I lost the very first game, you guys. I lost the first game, and I scored eight and a half points out of the next nine. I mean, I lost the very first game. Like I, I lost the first one. I, I mean, if I just click on my profile, it's just it's a it's a sea of green. A sea of green. Like if we look at my blitz rating, um, yeah. Oh no, I lost the second one. Sorry, you're right. I, I lost the second one. You're right. Actually, that's true. You're right. You're right. I lost. I won the first one, which I should have lost, and I, then it was the second game. Yeah. Is Magnus still bulleting? By the way. Whoa! Thank you so much. You can FBI for the five. Is Magnus still going? They're playing. Oh, more bullet. Who cares? What was that? What was that from uh, Nihal? Nihal was winning and then he uh, it's up a rook and somehow... Okay, very, very weird game. I, I don't know what that was. Magnus gave me for 3,500. I don't think it's realistic considering that no one else is super high rate except for me. I mean, if Daniel was sitting at like 3,400, it's possible. But with Daniel, like low, low 33s into the 32s, not realistic in my opinion. Um, dirty flag. Well, Nihal was just winning on the board completely, and then he messed it all up. Uh, Nihal, by the way, should be better here after takes in rook b3, but still not trivial. Ah, bishop g5, f6. And rook f7 and g5. Eh. Rook f7, I guess. Yeah, it's rook b3. He's going to try to get something on the back rank, but it just shouldn't be working. Probably just back in queen c8. But now there's rook a7, though, because queen c8, there's rook e7. Oh, but now queen c... Why is Nihal going passive here, exactly? 
because now it's gonna be very hard to win this like white's bishop is trapped but your rooks also can't go anywhere queen a4 there's queen a4 right queen a4 and then rook f8 here here and block Queen a4 was missed. This should be e7. Wait a second. What? King g2 and bishop. Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I watching? What am I even watching here? There's rook f6. Well, but I guess you take and check and you win. Terrible game from Nihal. Yeah, I wish I was playing them. Not really, you guys. I'll play bullet on my terms. <laughs> Don't worry. I played some bullet earlier, actually. If you guys really want me to, I can play some bullet right now. Let's see. Who do I want to play? Let me shake it off on my hand. Okay. All right. Let's see. Who's online? I'll challenge um, Chess Brainiac. This looks like a juicy player to eek. Or wait, is this Blitz or Bullet? Wait. This is bullet, yeah. Cheese Brainiac is three thousand. I'll I'll challenge him. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing. Just trying to shake it all out of my out of my out of my wrist. Thank you, Bastilles, for the uh, prime. Yeah, just trying to shake it off. Okay, it's not a challenge. <laughs> what are you shaking? Yeah, the warm up exactly. Okay, it's not a challenge. Somebody's got to want to play bullet. Um. Farouge is 3267. I can play him at bullet if he wants. I doubt Farouge wants to play bullet, though. Um. Oh, he does want to play. Okay, let's go. I did not expect that. I misplayed this. What am I doing? Let's play like a Daniel Narodisky. He would sack. Of course, it doesn't work. Because when I try to play like Daniel, it never works. Uh, it's so frustrating after I come all the way back. But I'm up on clock, so... Oh, why did I do that? What the heck? Oh, I win. Oh, man. I almost threw that. That was so poor, but he also threw it, too. Let's play the beef eater. I'm in a very beef happy mood. Go bishop g4. Drop back. I mean, okay, I should have lost that game, though, so I, I, I shouldn't be acting all cocky. A good move. Um...
Here we go, another dub. Let's keep going. Let's play e4, knight, c3. Oh, what is that? Um, bum, 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 bum. Ah. Could take a B5 too, but I'm probably lost here somehow. I mean, I offered him a draw. What the heck was that? Oh, wait, did I just blunder? I just blundered. Oh my god, I just ah, I blundered that. Oh, that was so stupid. After fighting all the way back to lose, that's really tragic. Okay, go here. Knight e5, I just take. Okay, queen b3, I'll just play c6. Did I just hang a piece too? I think I just did. Oh wait, no, I can take, wait. Wait, I think I just take Chuck. A four, I just take. Yeah, I just won. There we go. Uh, thanks for a Maggie bat. Thank you so much to GI Mountain. Appreciate it. Okay, better. Ah, uh, why did I do this? Okay, I just gotta move. I'm way down on clock somehow. I'm gonna do this and give up the pawn. Oh, now I hung this pawn too. Of course, now I blunder this. Or wait, no, I've got 95, 96, maybe. Ah, I missed that too. Unreal. God, 
happened to my OBS? What the heck? Did my OBS just die? Am I back or not? Wait, what the heck just happened? Am I back or not? I'm muted? Oh, my microphone's not working? Okay, um... The microphone's not working. Wait one second, you guys. I know, I know it's muted. I'll, I'll, I'll check in a second. <clears throat> All right, you guys can't hear me, right? Let me see. Cat Mike is correct. Let me check my settings. All right, now maybe it's okay. Is it okay now? Now? Do you hear me now or not? <clears throat> 